Greetings to all of you. Welcome back to your own channel. Today we will discuss physical properties of cis and trans isomers. First property is dipole moment. To compare dipole moment, let us use a simple case. This is cis alkene and this one is trans. In cis alkene, CCL polar bonds are on the same side of the double bond. So we can apply parallelogram law of vector addition. So net type movement is downward. What about trans? In case of trans, polarity due to one CCL is exactly cancelled by polarity due to another CCL. So net polarity is zero. But here net polarity can never be zero. That means dipole moment of cis alkene is always greater than trans alkene. Second property boiling point. Out of cis and trans alkene, you know, cis alkene has higher dipole moment than trans. So, in cis alkene, dipole dipole attraction, actually, boiling point is due to intermolecular attractions, and if they are polar, there is dipole dipole attraction. So, as cis alkene has higher dipole moment, so dipole dipole attraction in cis alkene is more than that of trans alkene. That's why boiling point which is mainly proportional to intermolecular attraction that is dipole dipole attraction cis alkene has higher boiling point than trans alkene third property is melting point melting point is mainly depend on the symmetry of the molecule or how tightly it is packed in the crystal lattice. More symmetrical crystal, more symmetrical molecule is better fit in the crystal lattice and has higher melting point. So out of cis alkene and trans alkene, you know trans alkene is more symmetrical, both on same side, but in this case, both groups are on the opposite side. So this trans alkene is more symmetrical than cis. That's why trans alkene is better fit in the crystal lattice, has higher lattice enthalpy, and that's why trans alkene has higher melting point than cis alkene. Fourth, solubility. As we have discussed melting point, trans alkene is more symmetrical, better fit in the crystal lattice, has higher lattice enthalpy, so it is difficult to break the lattice and higher is the lattice enthalpy, lower is the solubility. That's why solubility of trans alkene is less than that of cis alkene. What about stability? So as trans alkene is more symmetrical, better fit in the crystal lattice and if bulky groups are attached on one side because of steric hindrance, cis alkene has more steric hindrance. What is steric hindrance? Hindrance due to size. If bulky groups are there, they hinder more and that's why their stability is less. So trans alkene is more stable than cis alkene because of steric reason as well. Action of heat. Let us take cis alkene. We start with cis alkene. Now we heat it. When we heat it, you know, 
pi bond is weaker than sigma bond because of weak overlapping sideways overlapping so if this pi bond break homolytically and we get di free radical now when there is a double bond there is a restricted rotation that we have discussed earlier frozen rotation but when double bond breaks we get single bond it can rotate easily so these two forms are in equilibrium now when these two forms again recombine then we get two products cis alkene as well as trans alkene so on heating cis alkene gives mixture of cis and trans or even trans alkene can give mixture of cis and trans on heating and one more thing see if we place a mirror here are the mirror images no because in the mirror h and c are on the same place but on other side there should be h and cl but here it is cl and h so there is no mirror image relation so isomers they are geometrical isomers cis trans isomers has no mirror image relation and such isomers are known as diastereomers so cis and trans are diastereomers those isomers which have no mirror image relation are known as diastereomers no last point is intramolecular reactions intramolecular reaction takes place when two groups are close to each other so let us take a case this is maleic acid when we heat it because both the coh are on the same side of the double bond this is cis alkene maleic acid is cis alkene so h and oh are removed because these groups can form hydrogen bond and that's why we get maleic and hydride trans isomer in trans isomer you can see coh groups are on the opposite side of the double bond so there is no reaction there is no reaction at 150 degree celsius but if we heat fumaric acid at very high temperature so that there is homolytic cleavage of this pi bond then what would happen then obviously this fum this is called fumaric acid trans isomer of this molecule is known as fumaric acid so when we heat it at high temperature of the order of 320 degree celsius fumaric acid as it is trans isomer when we heat it it give mixture of cis and trans we have learned in action of heat because of homolytic cleavage fumaric acid is converted into maleic acid and fumaric acid both the mixtures so maleic acid then undergo cyclization and we get maleic anhydride means at low temperature of the order of 150 degree celsius maleic acid give maleic anhydride and fumaric acid at 150 degree celsius will not give any reaction but if we heat it around 320 degree celsius then fumaric acid converts into 
partially convert into maleic acid and we get maleic anhydride that's all about physical properties of cis and trans isomers thank you very much for watching this video do like subscribe and share my channel